Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Okay, welcome everyone to a new episode of Myth Bust Monday. This week we're gonna be looking at the idea that some cooking methods are better than others when it comes to retaining the nutritional quality of vegetables. Now, this video will be somewhat of a follow-up from my previous Myth Bust video on fresh versus frozen fruits and vegetables. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to watch that one yet, I'd recommend checking it out. Uh, so first, why is it that some people think certain cooking methods are better than others? Um, well, it seems to come from two main factors heat and water. Uh, higher cooking temperatures are claimed to break down or destroy certain vitamins like vitamin C, and more water is claimed to cause water-soluble vitamins to leach out and be lost in the cooking process. And while there certainly does appear to be some truth to these claims, often the cited studies are examining just one specific vegetable and usually only test one or two different cooking methods, making it difficult to get a good view on their nutritional quality. And although these studies do usually reveal one cooking method to be superior to the others, uh, forming general conclusions from these findings can be misleading since it makes the assumption that the same vitamin or phytochemical will behave in the same way in different vegetables. Now, this problem was highlighted in one 2015 paper where researchers examined differences in folate, carotenoids, and vitamin C content in 13 frozen vegetables after boiling in water, steaming, pressure steaming, or microwave cooking. And as you can see here in the table, there was a lot of data. And as it turns out, what cooking method is better depends on what nutrient you're looking at and what vegetable you're cooking. Now, so just looking here at whole spinach branch, we can see that beta carotene, a precursor for vitamin A, was preserved best, well, actually increased by 24% from steaming. However, with hashed spinach, pressure cooking was better than steaming. And I know a lot of people are wary of microwave use and its effects on nutrition, but this same study showed that beta carotene levels increased in sliced carrots by 12% after microwave. And according to a science-based medicine article on microwaves and nutrition, microwave cooking is a safe technology. It's fast and convenient, and as it turns out, has a favorable profile in terms of the net effects on food nutrition. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily make microwaving the best cooking option across the board. One 2015 review came to the conclusion that steaming seems to be the best cooking method for maintaining nutritional quality. Uh, however, these researchers only looked at pinto beans, peas, broccoli, onions, and potatoes. And this conclusion in particular seems to have come mostly from their findings on broccoli. Uh, so the only real consistent trend across the literature was that boiling often performed the worst, and this finding actually agrees with the common advice to avoid high temperatures and lots of water, especially for vitamin C content, since boiling did in fact retain the least amount of vitamin C for all 14 vegetables in the Bureau study. Uh, however, considering the high degree of variation in the cooking methods, uh, I tend to agree with the author's conclusion that the absence of general results for all components and all vegetables, except for boiling, highlights the difficulty in giving a simple, real recommendation for the cook to best preserve the nutritional quality of frozen vegetables. Um, so to wrap this one up, I would say that the idea that some cooking methods are superior to others in terms of retaining nutritional quality, especially when it comes to vegetables, is somewhat busted. Um, although it may be possible to, in concept, select the best cooking method for each specific vegetable and then for each specific nutrient, I would say this is extremely impractical, to say the least. Um, I would be aware that, on average, steaming might be a bit better and boiling might be a bit worse, uh, but I think the most practical advice is to try to include a variety of cooking methods if you can, uh, and above all else, simply have a diet that's filled with a variety of different fruits and vegetables. Um, so that's it for this one, guys. Uh, before we go, I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Uh, many of you guys have probably seen my new website, and I just finished rebranding and redesigning it, and I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, and of course, this was all done within the Squarespace platform, um, which I've personally used to run my own website and my own online store for the last three years. Squarespace is the platform that I recommend, and they have really aesthetic designer custom templates and 24-hour customer support, uh, which I used a lot throughout my own redesigning process. Um, so if you guys would like to get started with your own website or your own online store, uh, you can go to squarespace.com forward slash nippered, and that'll save you 10% off your first purchase. Uh, so thank you again, Squarespace, for supporting the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, make sure you do so. And I've got a new vlog on the way for all you guys next Monday. Um, so I'll see you all here again on July the 23rd for a new MythBust video.